Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we're going to go through all the details with how you can get Tornadus, Thunderous, Landorus and the new fairy flying type Enamorous in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say I know the game's been released for about two weeks now, but a lot of you aren't that far into your playthroughs and if you're still trying to avoid spoilers, maybe save this video for a little bit later because we will be touching on a few things. For those of you sticking around, let's jump straight into it. So when you you finish your post game battle versus Volo and you return to Jubilee Village. You come into the Galaxy HQ and it'll kind of start a cutscene with Kohita. She will give you the rundown on the genies, the, the trio, and their origins. So, Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landorus. She'll give you a few clues as well and ask you to go and hunt them. Now, the clues are pretty kind of self explanatory but give you a lot of idea with how you can get these Pokemon. In today's video, I'm going to go through all the details, their locations, and all the prereqs for spawning them in these areas. So the clue that we get for Tornadus is when a blizzard batters the Alabaster Icelands, Tornadus may be about. The clue that we get for Thunderous is when a rainstorm lashes the Colbert coastlands, Thunderous may be about. And then we finish up with a clue for Landorus, which is it seems it can be glimpsed in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Perhaps you'd be so good as to catch it. So we get all three areas for where the genies are located but there are some prereqs for actually spawning them in these areas just to let you know as well they are all shiny locked so you're not going to be able to get these pokemon as shinies as part of kind of legends arceus where all the legendary static encounters are shiny locked so don't think you can reset for these legendaries in their shiny forms so let's start off with tornadus now we head to the alabaster icelands where the clue suggested is located and one of the prereqs for spawning tornadus is only going to appear in a specific weather condition and that is a blizzard so you're going to have to get this symbol on your map to show that there is a blizzard in this area it's pretty obvious in game when there's a blizzard but to change the weather what you're going to have to do is just come to your tent and change the time of day from morning to evening evening to night you get the idea you just keep changing the time of day in this location and every time you do that the weather should change along with it sometimes it might not but it shouldn't it shouldn't take longer than a few minutes for you to actually get the blizzard active in this area so once you've got that blizzard in the area to look like this on the screen right now then you are able to go out and hunt down tornadoes now once you have got the blizzard head out to the main area of the alabaster icelands it's between bone chill wastes and the avalug's legacy area you can see it on the map right now but this is where tornadoes will be roaming you want to be able to kind of locate it but don't approach it directly because it will move very fast. You're not going to be able to catch it and it is going to attack you. The other thing is there's going to be a lot of uh, alpha Pokemon and Pokemon that are just generally going to attack you in this area. So running after it is not really the best way to do it. Stealth mode is definitely 100% the way to approach this Pokemon. Use things like smoke balls to kind of disguise yourself. Sneak up on Tornadus. And if you can get a back shot, it really does make it a lot easier. Don't necessarily need to, but you need to stun it with one of the kind of throwable items. Mud ball, gloop ball, something like that, or a spoiled apricot. And then when you have stunned it, it is going to take down its, its kind of force field. And you're going to be able to throw a Pokemon at it, engage with battle, and then proceed proceed to catch it from there so that is the method to really approaching all of the genies but don't go after it head on because it will just attack you and like I say you're going to have a bunch of other Pokemon around you you're going to be trying to run around really fast and it's just not going to work the stealth mode is the best way to go smoke bombs make use of them and then you're going to be able to disguise yourself and easily catch these genies so this is where Tornadus is located once you've got that we'll move on to our next one Thunderous now from Kohida's clue Thunderous is located on the Colbert coastline so when you're here again we're going to have to change the weather for a specific condition because thunderous will only spawn in certain weather conditions so we're going to do go to the tent again and we're going to change the weather to a thunderstorm from a clue it was when the rain lashes the Colbert coastline so thunderstorm is the condition that you're going to have to have for thunderous and once you've got a thunderstorm active from changing the time of day you're going to head out into the tranquility bay area and head up to sands reach where thunderous will be located kind of roaming around on the sea you're going to have to surf for this encounter again smoke balls are a, an incredible tool to allow you to kind of sneak up 
on Thunderous because as soon as it does detect you're close to it, it's going to attack you and move away very quickly, meaning that it's going to be something you're not going to be able to chase down physically. So sneaking up on it and then stunning it is going to be the way to approach it. Again, a lot like the Tornadus encounter where you're going to stun it and then interact with it in the battle and then catch it from there. So this is where Thunderous is located, Cobalt Coastlands. Just make sure that you have a Thunderstorm active. And the final one is going to be Landorus, and we know it's in the Obsidian Fieldlands, but whereabouts? You want to come down to the Obsidian Fieldlands. The weather condition here isn't too important, but I just made sure it was sunny uh, conditions, fair conditions when I went to hunt Landorus, and it is going to be located down on Romanos Island, where you would find the Chimchar and Alpha Infernip, if you're already aware of those Pokemon and their locations. If not, now you are. So, you want to head down to Romanos Island, and when you are here, you will be able to find Landorus, a lot like the Thunderous and the Tornadus. When it spots you, it's going to attack you and move away very quickly. So you have to be very stealth. It's a lot easier this one though, because you've got a lot of kind of grooves in the landscape where you can kind of hide. You can use smoke bombs as well. And again, you're just going to need to stun it and then you can kind of engage battle with it. And once you have, you're going to be able to catch it. So now you've caught all the three genies. The kind of task isn't finished just quite yet. Now, Kohita will not accept uh, or take you on to the next stage in this task unless all three of the genies tornadoes thunderous and landorus that you've just caught have a research level of 10 so you need to get research level of 10 on all three of them before you initiate the next sequence in this task so once you've done that it's pretty easy to do you can use look at their research tasks using agile or strong attacks with their signature attack it's qu pretty quick to get them up just go out into the any kind of wild area and battle lot of pokemon and get their research rank up doing it this way now once you have got that research level to 10 you want to make your way to the ancient retreat and speak to kohita so with all the research levels to 10 on these three pokemon you go back and speak to kohita and she will then unveil the brand new fairy flying type the fourth genie alongside this original trio which is enamorous and you can see it right here it's a strange looking pokemon but actually it's kind of grew on me after a little bit of time now the enamorous will disappear and it will be located in the crimson Mirrorlands. so to go and catch it again we're going to have to head to the crimson Mirrorlands. and also to note there aren't any specific weather conditions that enamorous needs to spawn so you don't need to worry about changing the weather for this one you just need to head to the scarlet bog area in the crimson Mirrorlands. again it's just going to be like the other genies where you're going to have to sneak up on it if you approach it directly if it spots you it's going to attack you and it's going to just zip away and you're not going to be able to kind of keep up with it so use smoke bombs use all the rocks the terrain to use your the best stealth mode that you've got and you're going to sneak up on it again stun it and then when you have stunned it it's going to be an opening for you to start the poker battle with it and then you're going to be able to catch it once you've managed to catch enamorous what you're going to have to do again to complete this task is to get enamorous to a research level of 10 but like you've already done with the other three genies it's not too difficult just go out battle pokemon use the agile strong type attacks with their signature move and it's probably the quickest way to get that level rank up to 10. now once you've done that you go back to kohita for one final time she'll say that the task is complete you'll get that research task complete but she'll also give you the reveal glass which will allow you now to turn all of the genies from their incarnate forms which you've caught them in out in the wild into their theory and forms so you'll be able to see their alternative forms with the reveal glass and that is everything for you to complete this task and get your hands on all three or four of the genies in pokemon legends arceus so friends i hope you found today's guide useful i know when i was going through my playthrough i had a lot of trouble kind of locating the genies i didn't know whether they'd be flying around the area or if they'd be roaming around or if they'd be static in cave locations or anything like that so that was pretty much the reason why i wanted to do the guide today just to make it easier for you to find the locations of the genies know the weather conditions and make it a little bit easier for you to go out and get them just make sure when you have done it you've got plenty of smoke balls with you projectile objects so you can throw things and stun them and then you can have strong enough pokemon to kind of battle these pokemon they're all going to be level 70 so they're all going to be pretty strong they've got decent attacks as well so you're going to have to have some strong pokemon to be able to handle them with although their catch rates don't seem to be too high so i didn't have too much trouble myself
yourself so i'm hoping exactly the same for you anyway friends thank you so much for tuning into today's video i hope as i say you found it useful if you have please drop a like on the video it really does help shares the video around with other people to help them as well if you've enjoyed this content and you want to see more pokemon legends Arceus content drop a sub on the channel and hit the notification bell so you know when these videos are dropping thanks again for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all again for another episode very soon so until then take care bye bye